Ready. Play. I'm super happy and yeah, it was great match, uh, super tough battle and yeah, just super happy right now with this title. Great, we would like to start. Okay. <laughs> uh, we still remember the final with Ashley Barty, but tonight it was really too much, the return, the intensity. Yeah, that was uh, really intense and um, it's always, as I said, it's always tough battles against Iga and she always pushed me to the limits and I really enjoy our battles and hopefully we can play, play many more finals uh, this season. Congratulations, Alina. Excuse me because I'm not going to ask you about the match. I want to know instead what's your opinion on the, on the new format of the tournament with two weeks, more players. Yeah, I love it. I actually love it because you have an extra day off. Not like the off, of course, we are practicing this day, but still we have, we are able to see the city and we are able to go for a good dinner. So it's really good to have uh, like an extra day for the recovery. I don't know, um, I guess, how sad is that you about, you know, when she came back from the three love to three all, um, how you, you talked a lot about remaining calm, was it easy in that moment and, and how happy are you with, you know, how you managed to do it? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy at all, but uh, I kind of expect something like that from Iga, that she's gonna fight for the last point, that she's gonna try everything she can to win this match, so I wasn't like really crazy about that, but it was really um, not easy moment for me and super happy how I was able to handle, how I was able mentally to handle this situation and to keep fighting and keep trying and not uh, uh, getting like really crazy about that situation. I mean, congratulations. Um, just off of Tamani's question, uh, you know, when you first played Iga for the first time a few years ago, and then early last season as well, it seemed like you would get very amped up to, to play her and really wanted to beat her. Yeah. And it seems obviously in the last few times it's been a lot calmer. Do you, how much do you uh, associate that with obviously your change on your side, but also kind of the respect that you have for her in terms of how, what level is that you have to bring to beat her compared to like yeah. a year ago, you know? No, I definitely respect her a lot. Uh, she's a great player and what she did last season and what she's keep doing, it's, it's really um, motivate me a lot to, um, to improve, uh, to keep working hard, to, uh, yeah, to keep fighting and um, yeah, um, it, and, 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 and I know that it's always tough battles against her. It's always uh, really great matches. And yeah, of course, I respect her a lot. And um, I would say that uh, like this year, matches is completely different matches than it was last year. Um, I improved a lot and I really want to, um, to, to win against her because she's such a great player and uh, to have this win, especially on play, that's something unbelievable and um, I'm, really, I'm really happy uh, that I'm able to fight against her and I'm able to get these wins. So it's not so super boring <laughs> for people to watch how much is like... <laughs> uh, 
you, you said the other day that the plan was to be more patient compared to Stuttgart. How much did you respect this plan today? Oh, sorry, what was the, the last part? How much did you respect the, this plan today? Respect. Stick, is, stick to it. Ah, yes, yeah, yes, sorry. Um, yeah, I stick to the plan and I think that was the key today that I didn't overrush things and I was waiting for a better shot to uh, go for uh, for power for pow powerful shots and yeah um, I was really I was stick to the plan from the beginning to the end. There were some Australian Open final vibes for me today and I was looking at a couple of comparisons. Australia was 2 hours 28 minutes, today was 2.26, I'm sure you weren't aware of that. But I tell you, four championship points, does that sound familiar? <laughs> and, <laughs> and were you thinking of it during that last game? Actually, yes, I was thinking when I was down uh, with the break in the last game, I was thinking, okay, I did it at the Australia Open, so probably I'll be able to, to get this win this time again, and it's, it's, and it's actually helped me to, to stay focused and to have this belief in myself. And yeah, definitely this match reminds a lot uh, of Australia Open match. <laughs> you mentioned earlier this week that you, you love playing on clay now. Just what, what, what can you talk about your um, your journey on the surface and and at what point you realize that you actually like? Yeah, I, I really enjoy playing on clay because I have uh, extra time and um, it's not super fast, so I can. Um, I can uh, go for my powerful shots because uh, I have some, not so many, but I have a lot of time here. And yeah, that's why I really enjoy play because it's longer rallies. It's it's like, it's not just bum bum, you know. You just you have to you have to work for for every point, and that's really amazing. Was there a moment when you when when that clicked for you? When what? what? Was there a moment when it clicked for you that like you could play this well? Yeah, I think last year, of last year or or actually 2021, when I uh, yeah when I first made the uh, Stuttgart final, I thought like oh probably play court to actually use my game. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? Sorry. <sighs> Physically, at times in the third set, it seemed like you were being pushed. From side to side, sometimes you won the point, sometimes you didn't. I just wonder how you felt. Did you feel as though you could have gone to a tie break if it was that way inclined? Or were you starting to feel it or, or were you feeling fine? Um, I was feeling fine. I was really I was working really hard in my fitness and so I so I'm able to play these long long rallies and play these long matches and not get getting really tired. So I was feeling fine. I was ready for whatever I I should uh, play today. We actually have our final last question from Courtney. Yeah, just on facing Iga, number one versus number two frequently. What do you think, from your opinion, is is the benefit of that? Not just for you and maybe Iga personally coming up against each other all the time, but you know, fans were very excited about the match today, three setter, exciting, all that sort of stuff. Do you, do you think it's, it's, what is your belief as to what impact it has on the game? Uh, well, I think that's something amazing and I think women's tennis need this kind of consistency to see a number, world number one and world number two facing in the finals and uh, yeah, I think it's it's how to say it's more enjoyable for fans to watch and it's more intense and I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not intense with the rest of the players anyway. If a player reach the final, it means that he's in a good shape and it's going to be tough. But I think when people see uh, this kind of finals, it makes them um, want to see it. You know, like want to see this battle, and that's something amazing. And hopefully, we can. Uh, we can keep doing what we're doing this season. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell 
so you don't miss out on all things tennis.